Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for November 18th, read by Shane R. from Vacaville, California in the USA. AA Thoughts for the Day. Prayer. As the alcoholic goes along with his process of prayer, he begins to add up the results. If he persists, he will almost surely find more serenity, more tolerance, less fear, and less anger. He will acquire a quiet courage, the kind that doesn't strain him. He can look at so-called failure and success for what they really are. Problems and calamity will begin to mean instruction rather than destruction. He will feel freer and saner. Wonderful and unaccountable things will start to happen. Twisted relations with family and on the outside will unaccountably improve. Bill W., June 1958, The Language of Heart, page 241. Thought to consider. Trying to pray is praying. Acronyms. Hope. Hang on pray every day. Just for today. Disturbing reflection. Step five. Admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. More realism and therefore more honesty about ourselves are the great gains we make under the influences of step five. As we took inventory, we began to suspect how much trouble self-delusion had been causing us. This had brought a disturbing reflection. If all our lives we had more or less fooled ourselves, how could we now be so sure that we weren't still self-deceived? How could we be certain that we had made a true catalog of our defects and had really admitted them, even to ourselves? Because we were still bothered by fear, self-pity, and hurt feelings, it was probable we couldn't appraise ourselves fairly at all. Too much guilt and remorse might cause us to dramatize and exaggerate our shortcomings. Our anger and hurt pride might be the smokescreen under which we were hiding some of our defects while we blamed others for them. Possibly, too, we were still handicapped by many liabilities, great and small, we never knew we had. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 58-59 Daily Reflections a safety net. Occasionally, we are seized with a rebellion so sickening that we simply won't pray. When these things happen, we should not think too ill of ourselves. We should simply resume prayer as soon as we can, doing what we know to be good for us. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 105. Sometimes I scream, stomp my feet, and turn my back on my higher power. Then my disease tells me that I'm a failure and that if I stay angry, I'll surely get drunk. In those moments of self-will, it's as if I've slipped over a cliff and am hanging on by one hand. The above passage is my safety net. In that, it urges me to try some new behavior, such as being kind and patient with myself. It assures me that my higher power will wait until I am willing once again to risk letting go to land in the net, and to pray. As Bill sees it, easy does it, but do it. Procrastination is really sloth in five syllables. My observation is that some people can get by with a certain amount of postponement, but few can live with outright rebellion. We have succeeded in confronting many a problem drinker with that awful alternative, This we AAs do or we die. Once this much is firmly in his mind, more drinking only turns the coil tighter. As many an alcoholic has said, I came to the place where it was either into AA or out the window. So here I am. 12 and 12, page 67. Big book quote. Now we go out to our fellows and repair the damage done in the past. 
We attempt to sweep away the debris which is accumulated out of our effort to live on self-will and run the show ourselves. If we haven't the will to do this, we ask until it comes. Remember, it was agreed at the beginning we would go to any lengths for victory over alcohol. Alcoholics Anonymous, Into Action, page 76. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. I have gotten over my procrastination. I was always putting things off till tomorrow, and as a result, they never got done. There is always another day, was my motto, instead of do it now. Under the influence of alcohol, I had grandiose plans. When I was sober, I was too busy getting over my drunk to start anything. Someday I'll do that, but I never did it. In AA, I have teamed that it's better to make a mistake once in a while than to never do anything at all. We learn by trial and error, but we must act now and not put it off until tomorrow. Have I learned how to do it now? Meditation for the day. Do not hide your light under a bushel. Arise and shine, for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen in thee. The glory of the Lord shines in the beauty of your character. It is risen in you, even though you can realize it only in part. Now you see as in a glass darkly, but later you will see face to face. The glory of the Lord is too dazzling for mortals to see fully on earth. But some of this glory is risen in you when you try to reflect that light in your life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may try to be a reflection of the divine light. I pray that some of its rays may shine in my life. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Shane, and I struggle with alcohol. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.